Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Very Blur node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and add a Very Blur. And that's V-A-R-I, not V-E-R-Y. So it's not very blurry. It's a very blur. So we're going to pop this up. The way the very blur or the variable blur works is it technically is looking for an image input to use as the uh, blur image. But you can blur it up without an image. And the way it works is you have three choices of methods, whether you're using soften, multibox, or defocus. And let's give it a blur here. And you can pick what channel you're using, whether it's the red, green, blue, your alpha, luma, or none. So if we just go to like luma, it's gonna use the luminance of the image that it's receiving since there's no image coming in. And your quality right here is the quality of the blur. So the higher, the better quality, the lower, the least quality. But two to four is usually good. Uh, if you up it, it's going to get slower. And we covered the blur channels. This lock YZ just locks your blur size on the X and Y axis. And your blur size controls how much blur there is. And your blur limit is gonna limit the maximum amount of blur. And uh, a lot of times this comes in with Z depth since you can have thousands of Z depths. And this is gonna limit how blurry it can get. So basically to show what this is kind of doing, I'm gonna connect an image into the green input and it's set to luminance and this is just a black and white image. So if I play it, you can see that blurring with the image in the background. So we can come in here and change the blur size, the blur limit, the quality if we want, change the channel if we need to. But this is basically what the very blur is doing. And this node is actually used more often than you think. And one of the common uses is, if we go ahead and grab a rectangle and I'm going to bring this up and bring the background I'm going to bring this up and let's uncheck solid let's change our border width and let's change this to uh, white Give it some corners here. And we're going to uh, add some animation. So if we want to go down here. Keyframe it halfway through, go up here, go to the end, go back over here. So now we've got that. So now if we wanted this window to actually blur, like what's around it, we can just simply copy this rectangle, paste it. But in this rectangle, we're going to um, make it solid. Get rid of that border width and since this is our luma channel we can just plug it into this and we get a little window so now if we merge this and this we get that effect you can come in here and change your uh, blur size or blur level if you want and if you want it the opposite way, you can always come into your rectangle and just hit invert. And now everything on the outside is blurred. 
So that is the very blur node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.